Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another review and today we are looking at this really cool product that I managed to get. Uh, it's called Action Hat. So for a while guys, ever since I started making YouTube videos, I've been using a regular hat. Uh, this is nothing fancy, it's just a $9 hat that I managed to get off eBay. And for the most part, <clears throat> it did a decent job. But then I happened to come across this bad boy, Mr. Action Hat. And I must say that ever since I started using this hat, uh, it's made a huge difference um, in, in the footage that I've been getting. So let's just have a look at this hat real quick. So one of the first things that I really like to talk about is the quality of this hat, right? Right off the bat, <clears throat> when you compare to the more generic uh, type of hat, the actual hat itself is really good quality. And if you go to the Action Hat website, they have tons of different types, designs of hats that you can choose from. Um, I went for this camo, camo design, it's a curved, curved build hat. And I went for the vented rear, rear section because uh, I find that most times when I wear a hat which does not have uh, the little perforations at the back, it gets pretty warm. So this helps to keep uh, your head quite uh, ventilated and it's more comfortable to wear also. And just overall, comparing uh, the two hats, um, this hat has really nice quality to it. You know, the, the material is nice. The actual hat is quite... Uh, it's made out of a thicker and stiffer material. As you can see, this is quite a soft hat. And uh, what I really like about the Action Hat is the fact that it has this really awesome integrated mount at the back. And this really helps keep the camera stable, especially when you're running around, when you're walking about. I find that with the regular hats, that there's a lot of movement in the camera you can actually feel it on your head it's not very comfortable and this movement also translates into your footage you know i mean the hero 8 that i use has really good image stabilization but i find that when you can make for any camera when you can make the base more stable that just translates in, translates into better footage so right off the bat looking at the action head you can see it has this inner <clears throat> ribbed support sort of thing uh, I don't know exactly what you call it but you know it's it's kind of it, it it's like a big mount and also this mount allows two mounting points for the camera as you can see right now the camera is mounted in front here via these two uh, screws here screwed into this mount but if you want you can shift the you can remove these mounts and shift them up here as well and put your camera up here if you want or sometimes people like to run two cameras one facing backwards so this would be a really great option where you can run one camera in the front and one camera in the back for whatever reason but this hat gives you the flexibility of doing both in one hat that's pretty cool and the other awesome thing is that this insert or this ribbed section uh, causes the entire hat with your GoPro on to float. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I mean, I don't, honestly, the places I fish uh, is mostly salt water and you drop your hat in there with, with the GoPro, you're most likely to lose it because <laughs> the seas are rough and, you know, the currents are strong and all that stuff. But having said that, the fact that this still floats, I guess gives you the option to jump in and get your, get your camera back at least, you know, I mean, you don't want to lose a GoPro, they're expensive. So I think that that's a really cool feature of this hat, the fact that it floats with the camera on. And I've actually tried it out. It does work. It floats just about like that. <laughs> the other thing is that, you know, the mounting is made out of solid metal. It's made out of aluminium. As you can see on the, the cheaper hats, it's all plastic. And I'm just going to slide this off. And most often after some use, I've found that the mounting actually breaks or comes apart as you in this uh, hat you can see that I've stuck it together with some super glue 
and it's kind of held up but I really don't know when it's going to fall off if this piece comes off and falls off it's going to fall off with your camera and you're going to you're going to lose your camera as well so the awesome thing about the action hat is that it's bolted to this inner subframe or uh, sub this inner, inner support so there is no way that this camera can fall off or come off this mount accidentally and you know end up falling into the water or falling down and you know breaking your camera so this mounting system is just awesomely solid and I really like that about this hat and uh, the last thing that I really want to talk about is that Action Hat sells this mounting kit separately it's a do-it-yourself kit so that that gives you the option of taking any hat that you want to use you can use your favorite hat and you could place this ribbed mounting uh, system in, in beside, uh, inside your hat and then drill the holes and convert this into an action hat. So that, that's an awesome thing. I mean, it's not just with regular hats. I mean, they have mounting that is suitable with like normal fishing hats, you know, the half hats. And these things can be mounted in any different kind of, in any different way that you want to. So being able to buy this mounting, uh, mounting uh, this mount the action hat mount separately as a do-it-yourself kit really gives you the flexibility of using any hat that you may already have now having said this guys the only downside that i have found i well i don't really consider it a downside but i guess it it, it may be a downside to some people is is the cost of this hat now this el cheapo hat chinesium hat costs like i think eight to nine bucks but the action hat costs forty dollars plus shipping. So the the cost involved in buying this is significantly more. But this is truly offset by the footage that you will get. I mean, the difference in this between these two hats and the stabilization, the stable footage that you get, there there is a noticeable difference. Even when I'm running around from rock to rock, jumping around, literally running. Uh, with this hat on with the camera on This provides a very stable as you can see see there's no movement, right? And <clears throat> this provides a very stable platform for the footage whereas the cheaper hats. It's just You can see that right guys very different so I wouldn't really consider the cost uh, a downside because I mean this is a well-built hat the hat is excellent quality great stitching, great material. And given the features of this hat, you know, the awesome mounting system in it and the fact that it floats and all these other features that you get with this hat, I personally feel that $40 is worth it. Um, especially because that $40 is going to translate into better footage and better footage, doesn't matter what kind of content creator you are, better footage is always a plus. Thank you so much guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.